Hey guys! Today I'm going to make a homemade dog food and I hope my dogs will like it. So let's head on to my kitchen and start making it. They're excited. See how excited they are. So here are the materials or ingredients that we need. Um, an all-purpose flour, a rolled oats, milk powder, roll focus, there, milk powder, brown rice, um, carrots, and sweet potato or camote. Also ground pork or you can use ground beef or ground chicken and chicken liver. I don't measure how much uh, I don't I I don't follow an exact measurement, I just follow my gut feel so just do the same. For the meat to cook, I'm gonna grate the vegetables. I mean the carrots and the sweet potato. You just need a cheese grater like this and just grate it like a cheese. So I use two eggs and then I'm gonna pour the oil to the eggs. I'm gonna mix it together. Mix them together. Then on a separate bowl on a separate bowl, we are going to mix all the dry ingredients like the flour, the brown rice, the vegetables that I grated, the rolled oats, and we're gonna add um, about, I don't know, about a glass of water. This is the powdered milk. So at this point, I added the rice and the meat, and we're gonna mix it together. Together with the flour. And yeah, the 
don't forget to add the water. So now we're going to add the vegetables. If it gets too thick, uh, feel free to add more water. at this point so just to make sure that it will be mixed well this thing also I'm gonna um, pour in the egg with oil at this point And yeah, don't forget to add about a teaspoon of salt. I forgot to mention that. So I bake them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 300 degrees and this is what they look like. It's a little bit toasted but hopefully my dogs will still like it. This one's really toasted. This one's okay and this one's okay too. <clears throat> Next, we need to cut it in bite-sized pieces so that it will be easier for the dogs to eat them. Hey guys, so we are done. I've cut the dog food in bite size, bite size pieces, and you can store them at airtight lock containers like this, or on Ziploc um, plastics or Ziploc bugs. These are very cute. You can take it anywhere. But um, the ones in the airtight container, you should put them at the freezer so that the shell life will be longer. Because otherwise, I think this would only last about three days. I mean, the the dogs, your dog should consume it within three days. But if you want it to last longer, just put it in the freezer. So that's it for our homemade dog food video. 
Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. They're really excited, so I'm gonna give them some of the dog food that I made. Let's see if they like it. Looks like it's a hit. They love it. Kim.